Hi everyone, I'm Julie Lindsay. I'm based in Australia and for many years I was based outside of Australia working across different countries. In fact, uh, my husband is a teacher also, so we took teaching positions in Africa, Zambia, for a couple of years. We then moved to Kuwait. Uh, the, we then spent four years in Bangladesh, moved back to the Middle East to Qatar, and then finished off with three years in China. So we had a wonderful 15 years. Uh, my daughter, who is now 20, she was three when she left Australia, and she graduated in China at 18. I'm now back in Australia uh, working as a consultant. Uh, I'm an adjunct lecturer at the Charles Sturt University in the Faculty of Education. And I'm developing uh, what is called now Flat Connections. Now Flat Connections is uh, a set of global collaborative projects. It's also teacher professional development. Uh, there are different courses that people can take. It's also live events, and what I do is run workshops and live conferences in different parts of the world. So I've been an educator for over 30 years now, and originally, of course, I was a music educator back in Australia for about 15 years. And it was in the 1990s when the internet came to schools that my fascination with um, uh, the technology and the opportunities that, that the internet provided moved me uh, from what I was doing then, which was actually music technology, into internet-based activities. And uh, I started to connect with people in different parts of the world. Uh, I started through IEARN, uh, IEARN Learning Circles. I went to one of the very first IEARN conferences in Melbourne in about 1995, I think it was. Absolutely enthralled with the power of connections, the power that joining people together through the use of technology had uh, on learning, the impact it had. So then when I moved from Australia to my overseas positions, I uh, evolved into a, a computer teacher, a technology integrator, a technology coordinator, an IT director, e-learning coordinator, curriculum coordinator. I wore quite a few hats over those 15 years of travelling around the world. And I took with me this, this passion for connecting people and designing learning environments for students and teachers so that they could not only learn about the world, but learn with the world. So global collaboration as a focus uh, in the, um, around about 1990, sorry, around about 2006, uh, created a, a set of projects where classrooms were joined with the purpose of students actually working with each other. And these projects have developed now to be available from kindergarten level right up to grade 12. And uh, what I do now with Flat Connections is I uh, have managed and designed projects so that teachers are fully supported in the global collaborative experience. Uh, the use of Web 2.0 tools is very important. Uh, the use of uh, learning spaces for students and teachers to gather as a, a community is very important and also the ability for uh, all learners to create things together and that means doing joint research, uh, co-creating uh, things like um, uh, authored wikis, uh, e-books and co-creating a multimedia material. And it's through this co-creation uh, that it is made possible by global collaboration that I believe deeper me uh, meaning and deeper learning takes place. So one of the things that I really like doing is providing opportunities for people to come together in a live event and this, this cements the uh, collaborations that perhaps they have done virtually. Last week I was in Sydney at Shore School which is uh, an independent boys school on, on the North Shore of Sydney and we ran a conference with students and teachers at the same event. Now this is quite unique in the world and it's just the most amazing event. Uh, we had uh, students and teachers from all over different places of Australia. We also had a, a school from Iran come in uh, with uh, girls from Iran which brought, brought that wonderful cultural diversity. So working in teams, student and teacher teams, uh, separate teams, uh, they worked on an action-based project and uh, interacted, pitched ideas to each other, etc. And we, we followed a, a design thinking cycle to build uh, understanding and build meaning and uh, build some artefacts that, action projects in fact, that we are uh, going to support to try and implement in the future. But I think one of the important things to remember is that uh, to do global collaboration, which is not easy, 
It's not something that uh, you can immediately fit into your curriculum uh, without some thought and some redesign. But we need to think about the, the changes in pedagogy that we need to see to embed technology-rich learning experiences. And this is something that I've been researching recently uh, in terms of teachers' beliefs and attitudes and what uh, the support that teachers need to actually change their, their pedagogy and make it more constructivist, uh, make it more uh, apply, applicable to uh, flattening the walls of the classroom so that you bring the world in and you also put your class and yourself out there. So we are talking about the use of social media, we're talking about having certain technologies freely available and not locked down. Uh, and some of these uh, constraints and expectations that we have now for learners are just not happening in schools. So my goal, of course, is to work with people around the world to make this happen. So I encourage you to you know, think about how you're connecting with the world, how you're collaborating with the world, and what you are creating with the world. It's not about learning about the world, it's really about learning with the world through these uh, wonderful experiences that are available using emerging technologies.